Let me, with a great sense of joy, welcome you to the former flag off of the reconstruction of the 3.5 kilometer, kilometer Osisioma Eka Para Road. We have come together in continuation of our consistent efforts to restore the old glory of this city after decades of ruin orchestrated by willful neglect, crass irresponsibility, and a pathetic failure to appreciate the full significance of a back to the economic health of the state, the country, and the West African sub-region. Aba is unique and special for many reasons. It is first and foremost a city of dreams, defined by the resilient spirit and the industrious character of the residents and businesses domiciled in it. For decades, Aba, mentioned anywhere in the world, was synonymous with trade, commerce, and industry. But it was more. This city transformed the economic destinies and fortunes of many individuals and communities. Just like the chairman of the Council of Traditional Rulers in Osisioma Zinkoro said as he was blessing the colonels. In good or bad times, Aba was the place to be. It provided safe and fertile accommodation to multi-millionaires and billionaires. It also gave hope to the thousands who started with nothing. The young apprentices, fresh graduates, and the energetic, skillful artisans who trooped into Abba from places far and near, all found in the stories of the multitude who made it in this town. A strong inspiration and belief that if they work hard, they too could find their place with the stars. Abba is also a place of new beginnings, a city that welcomes and offers to all who have been made with the shipwrecks of life, the comfort to pick the pieces and start afresh. We saw this in the 1970s and during the many other times unfortunate social and political events in the country and elsewhere has no board into losses and heartbreaks for our people. Many who returned here found in no time that with hope, honey could be made without flowers. Our people were able to recover so quickly from several tragic events for the simple reason that they found new hope and new life in Abba and its environs, including Osisioma. So for many of us who saw the magic of this city growing up, the deterioration of the last two decades and a half have been nothing but heartbreaking. And this emboldened us to rise in unison to resist the jackals and all who profited selfishly from the ruins of this great city. We said enough and refused to back down until we achieved the first leg of victory in what will likely be a marathon race to take back our land and rebuild it in a way that those coming after us will be proud to continue the transgenerational trans -generational task of keeping this city alive to its H.O. promise of growing tiny seeds into giant trees. The Osisioma Ekapara Road, whose flag of ceremony we have gathered to witness is symbolic of our past glory of old, leading to several industrial addresses that made this city thick in the 80s and early 90s. The collapse of this road also marked the beginning of Abba's decline as the industrialists, movers and shakers of the economy of the city began it 
with great reluctance, but ultimately in pursuit of their business interest. Because capital, as every businessman knows, only goes where it is rewarded. So when the businessman and woman left to other places, the entire Sisioma industrial stretch became a shadow of its former self. Thousands became jobless. And those who had relied on what they earned from their em em employment with the various manufacturing outfits or providing ancillary services to the big businesses found themselves battling with poverty and the frustration it brings. Looked far afield, disconnected completely from their childhood dreams. From today, however, this story will be different. Already, since the news went out a few weeks ago that work shall commence here, a new sense of optimism has returned. And you can see it daily in the volume of activities around this axis, in the number of inquiries we receive from people who want to set up shops along this corridor, and the steep rise in property prices, because at last, people can see the light at the end of a long tunnel. In about 12 months, when this road project is completed, it's my estimation that this will become one of the busiest roads in the city. As the big trucks and logistic vehicles return, the sharp rise in vehicular movement has been anticipated and factored into this road design. I have also mandated, mandated the Commissioner for Works and his team to be strict in their supervisory responsibility. They are also to ensure that nothing short of the highest standards of materials are used at every stage of the reconstruction process. Any form of compromise shall be punished severely. This road will serve many users, including those going to other major cities, including Owere and Onicha. Its reconstruction is part of our strategic agenda to create many access roads into and out of Aba, ease traffic congestions, and expand the windows of economic opportunities for those looking to invest in the promises of the new Aba. Our dream in the medium to long term is to make about the industrial and manufacturing hub of this part of the world. This city offers something you don't find very often. Reliable power following the commissioning and stabilization of the geometric independent generation transmission and distribution power company. We believe that things will continue to get better. And when much of the teething problems are finally resolved, power supply for household and industrial activities shall be taken for granted within the nine local governments of the Aba Ring Fenced area. In Aba also, you find a teeming mass of self-driven, skilled and energetic workforce. When you produce in Aba, you are guaranteed access to national, regional, and international markets through a land, sea, through land, sea, and air. With the resumption of services along the Aba Potakot Railway route, the ongoing reconstruction of the Aba Potakot Expressway, Aba Ekonai Road, and several other infrastructural development projects within the region, I have no doubt in my mind that Aba's future is indeed promising. To make this restoration project complete, you must be prepared to do your part as citizens, landlords and business owners. You are encouraged to pay your taxes and other statutory fees as and when due because you are obliged to do so as a good citizen. And most importantly, to support our shared dream of rebuilding this city. We must take the cleanliness of the environment very seriously. The Abia State Environmental Protection Agency, ASEPA, 
shall continue to receive all the support it needs to promptly evacuate household and industrial waste. But as citizens, we must be at the forefront of the sanitation efforts. Ladies and gentlemen, the rains are coming. And to avoid the mishaps of flooding, you are all encouraged to refrain from littering the environment, dumping refuse heaps on the dredging channels, and any other action that could threaten the free flow of rainwater will no longer be tolerated. And to enforce this, we have set up a task force. Don't be a victim of bad behavior. The security of this town is also in the hand of every resident. Please cooperate with the security agencies to fish out criminals and all those whose actions threaten the peace of the town. As a government, we shall do everything possible to keep you safe.